So here's my little spot that I get the water from. It's actually kind of fancy. There's a spout. Um, a lot of the times you don't have the spout. You just have a little thing runoff. Um, when Rick and I hiked the LT, there was a spot where you'd take like a, a maple leaf and uh, put it out so you could get some water. But this is luxury. We got a spout. So I will put it in that and fill my jugs. Hello everybody, it is day 13. Uh, beautiful day today. I'll be doing some other videos to kind of tell you what happened the last couple days. There was some really bad weather <laughs> and uh, kind of a almost mishaps, but everything's okay. But um, okay, this is Sunday, this is the 13th day. And today I will be leaving Georgia, <laughs> which is good. So when I get to the North Carolina border, I will take some pictures and a video from there. But more to come. And I'm going to turn it off and switch the camera around and give you a couple video shots of where I am right now. Have a good day. So I'm up on the ridge right now, heading toward uh, Blythe Gap. Um, on the way, so it's basically the last two days have been pretty much a lot of uphills with little downs, <laughs> which is good. But we're getting there. That first mountain coming in North Carolina <laughs> is a kick in the teeth. <laughs> oh my lord. By far, in my opinion, the hardest mountain. It was just was straight up, no switchbacks, and it was a doozy. <laughs> you gotta love the name of this trail. The Chunky Gal Trail. How cool is that? Good morning, today is day. 14 and leaving the Muskrat Creek <laughs> shelter in North Carolina. Day is going to be short today, only about five miles. Need to give my legs a little rest from yesterday's <laughs> climb. That was kind of treacherous, but it's done, so it's good. A uh, couple of things at the shelter last night. Some of the things that people do, just the kindness for other hikers. The, the ascent of that trail was really bad. And I was getting some hot spots or beginning of blisters in the back of my heels. And one of the hikers there, he goes, he goes, I got some special tape for it. So he actually took out his tape and he taped my heels for me, which is very nice. And he did it for another hiker as well. And that tape supposedly just stays on there forever. And my feet feel great this morning. So now that little happy thing with trail hikers. One of the other nice things, there was a young lady at the shelter last night, her name was Jenny. We are just chit-chatting and she had a necklace on that was the shape of Vermont. And I said, I said, I'm from Vermont. She goes, well, I hiked the Vermont Long Trail three years ago. And she goes, I got this necklace that some lady made. I said, did you ever stay at the Swanson Inn? She goes, oh my God. She goes, you're Tim. <laughs> she remembered me. She goes, oh, she goes, that was a highlight of our little hike. And stuff like that and she was so excited she remembered who i was and about the end and she also said she goes you guys made me feel like a princess so that made me feel pretty good so this morning we're coming down into standing bear so this morning we're coming down into standing indian and a nice little slope down into the valley here but it is a steep mountains <laughs> So, a little more videos to come, take some pictures. Good morning. It is day 15 and we are on top of Standing Indian Mountain. Can you see that sign right there? So, this is supposed to be some gorgeous views, but not this morning. <laughs> it's all fogged in. So, we're trying to get to the next shelter um, earlier in the afternoon because it's supposed to get heavy rain tonight. And I do not want to walk in rain again. I still have to tell you a story about that from last week. Um, but this mountain, I'm pretty sure, is like 5,600 feet high, something like that. So more to come on this foggy, kind of a cool day, but we're getting there. 
Nice little spring crossing, or as they call it here, cricks. Mm. Nice little creek. Don't need water though. <laughs> and I'm not that far from the shelter. That is where we hiked down from this morning. That is Standing Indian. So it's been a really long descent. So far, probably about five miles. Um, but still a couple more miles to get to the shelter, but that's Standing Indian. So I thought you'd like a little tour of a shelter. This is the Carter Gap Shelter, which is in um, North Carolina. And uh, this is a very basic one. You can kind of see around, there's always a little fire pit. Um, you go inside, they're pretty much standard. You always have a little area where people can cook on. This one's nice because it's got a couple benches in it. There's a bench there. There's a bench there. There's my little sleeping bag all set up front. That's my little corner. There's my backpack hanging up. Those little devices are set up that you hang your backpack and mice can't get down into it because they can't get past the little cup. So that's the idea of those things. So that's my little corner. And this is a deluxe one. It has a stair for old people like me. <laughs> There's not a stair. So you got to use your pole to hoist yourself up on the platform. <laughs> but this is a nice one. It's got a step for us older folks. So that's my little corner. So that's where I'll be for the night and stuff like that. And, uh, it's a good place to be because we're supposed to get rain this evening and it's supposed to get like an inch of rain during the night. So this is a nice comfy little corner to be when it's going to be like that. More to come. So right here we are at 99.9. .9. So I took a video of the tower top of Mount Albert and um, we're going to see if we can find the sign where it actually says where you reach 100 miles. Only got to do it 20 more times. Easy peasy. <laughs> So today I'm in Franklin, North Carolina, and look, I got my hair cut all nice and clean. Should trim my beard so I don't look so creepy anymore. <laughs> Should nice job. So now I'm off to uh, the hiker resupply area. I gotta get a couple of stuff and then find some lunch with another hiker that I met the other day. And just a couple of errands and get to the post house for my resupply box. More to come.